Hey, Chris, thank you for uh, joining us on the very first episode of The Right Note. Thank you for having me. I'm, yeah. I'm honored to be here. So we are on the eve, as we talk, of the release of your new album, High Times for Low Lives. We are. How are you feeling? Are you nervous or anxious? <laughs> or I'm just, I'm really excited. I can't wait for it to come out. It just feels like something you, you create and put so much time and effort and love into. And like, it's like your entire heart goes into this thing. And then all of a sudden there's this like, you're a day away from releasing it. It's I'm, yeah. I am about to explode. I, <laughs> I can't wait for people to hear it. Yeah. Whether they hate it or love it, I don't care. I just want it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think you've taken a few risks on it? I think, yeah, I think we've definitely taken a few risks. Like definitely like sound wise, kind of moving to something a little bit more daring, especially as a band. I mean, I think we really didn't want to be just like a two guitars, bass, drums, kind of a rock band feel. Like we really wanted to branch out and try and do something sound wise that we don't think bands have really been doing. Yeah. So we kind of wanted to be like the, you know, the, the front runners of a, of a new sound that, that people might look at and go, oh, cool, I want to sound like that, as opposed to us going, cool, we want to sound like all these bands. Yeah. So in, in doing that, I, I definitely feel like it's a bit daring. I think, I think some people will be like, what the hell? What, the, what were they thinking? <laughs> but, um, but, I mean, we love it and we, we're, we're right behind it. Yeah. I think creatively we're stupidly proud of it. I can really hear a little bit of Michael Jackson in there, actually. There's, yeah, I, I listen to it sometimes. I'm like, oh, that's, that's so <laughs> thriller. <laughs> the song the birthday it's got that synth sound which it's the like exact it. synth sound from uh was it beat it right yeah it's the exact synth sound so again when we we're producing the album the producer andrew dawson like he just kind of came across that through one of his programs and hit that we were like oh my god is that is that the beat it synth yeah like can we use that he's like <laughs> i think so he's like let's use it That's hell awesome. yeah so with andrew he's famous for working with kanye and fun and sleigh bell so he's yeah. got a great cv he does so you have to tell me what was the best kanye story he told you <laughs> there's all oh, there's there's <laughs> there's plenty i mean even just when he talks about how they work together like he kanye would text him and be like hey, I need this song, I need it by tomorrow morning. And this will be like at seven o'clock at night. He did that while we were in the studio. Kanye texted him one night while we were working on our album. It was like, I need you, I need you to do this song. I need you to rework it right now. It was a song off Pablo. Right. And, and Andrew was like, um, okay, I, I probably should do this because, you know, he's Grammy award winning artist. I'll do it. We got, so we, we left and we got back in in the morning and we're like, how did it go? And he was like, Oh yeah, nah, he like, I was working on it all night and got to about 4 a.m. and he was still working on the song. Kanye texts him at 4 a.m. and goes, oh, just don't worry about it, dude. I went no. with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> really? So with your first album with Be Impressive, you guys did a lot of shows behind that, about 300 yeah. or so, I think? Yeah, probably something around that line. Yeah. Many of which were in the States. Yes. I understand. So what is that like? Is that... Is it just an endless array of truck stops at midnight and <laughs> sweaty, stinky vans? Like, I feel like is I, it a grind? I feel like I've seen every truck stop in America at this point. Uh, <laughs> every stinky toilet. Uh, <laughs> Uh, every bar, but yeah, it's a grind. Yeah. It, the last two years, especially like touring off the back of being impressive, mm. like like there were definitely points it was just like this, this is a living hell right now. This is horrible. You're you're driving through the night. We ourselves would be driving the van in snowy conditions at four in the morning, doing a twenty-two hour drive trying to get wow. to a show. It, it, it definitely can be a grind. Yeah, and what about band relations? How does that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you ever been married to four dudes? <laughs> uh, Once. <laughs> uh, it could definitely be trying. There's been a few little mishaps for sure. Right. <laughs> but we always come out of them. We come out of them stronger, which is the best part. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, there's definitely things. There's definitely situations. Well, I wish you the best of luck with the album and the the 300 shows you're about to do in support of it. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with it all. Thanks. Mate. Thank you very much. <laughs>